You cut that. Don't say it. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm getting emotional now. I was like, oh my god, so disaster. Finally saw like, oh my gosh, I don't want to make it official over the phone, right? Our first night together. So yeah, what actually happens? Oh, be prepared. <laughs> I'm sure he's so excited to do it. Welcome to... Pantapod. For today's video, guys, it's very interesting. We made this podcast because someone commented that my husband... <laughs> we will talk about the truth behind our first meeting in Maldives. Yeah. So what happened? What what is our reaction? How did it go? Yeah, what happened there? Yeah. <laughs> I know, guys, you are you are really, really curious about it. Huh? Yeah. So, guys, before we get uh, into the main core of this video, we will first uh, let you guys know what was our plan, um, why we specifically met in Maldives and not somewhere else. Why did I not go to the Philippines directly or she came to Switzerland? So it was the year 2021 and as you guys may remember, remember it was the pandemic that uh, currently was a big thing. The borders to Philippines were closed for foreign people so I was not allowed to enter there. There was a time where I could enter but I would have had a 14 days quarantine where I had to stay at the hotel and I only had like two weeks of holidays so <laughs> I would stay my entire holidays in a hotel and could quarantine. just like <laughs> way from the window uh, hi to you uh, which is not make no sense honestly what we tried was to get a visit visa for you so she can visit me here in switzerland which got denied reason for that was it is required to meet in person at least once One. so they're here really strict but we did not give up and then we did a lot of research and there were two problems that we had to solve first uh, we need to find a visa free place for you that is open that is open yeah and yeah, that is open for people to visit right now because of pandemic. pandemic. So, and then it was, uh, I think, in August or September where we read online that you can visit Maldives now without having to go to quarantine or anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we thought, yeah, that's perfect. Maldives is an amazing place as well, right? So yeah, that's how we came up with uh, meeting the first time in Maldives, actually. Yeah, that's the story behind it, guys. So guys, you, now you know why we opt in meeting halfway. Maybe a lot of judgments there. Ay, nako, nako. Hindi. Yeah, those, those guys just want to be alone, right? <laughs> ah, those guys ha, want to run away and do something. Huh? No. It's because of the borders and stuff and quarantines and stuff. We met halfway in Qatar airport. Qatar airport have a very special place in our yeah. heart. How I felt that moment was I am so nervous because I am the first one who arrived at the Qatar airport and I don't know actually what will I feel. I actually actually forgot like to film because I'm so nervous. If you notice to our video here, there's no like a clip that we actually met for the first time like we hug or because I really don't know what to do. I was beforehand said we should film our first meeting, yeah. our first hug or whatever we will do. But we cannot, yeah. we didn't do it because I'm too overwhelmed and I'm yeah. so nervous, happy, excited, mix of emotion at that time. And I was also worried about my face. Because I checked first the gate, also it's not open yet. When I go to the toilet, I saw my face. I was like, oh my god, so disaster. But my eyes was so red. I vomited actually in the toilet. I also had a headache and my eyes were so red because I don't know why. Because maybe I cannot sleep inside the plane. Time comes, I received a message from him that I am already landed. I'm here, Chantal. I'm just at the security. And my heart do do do. Yeah. Tuk, tuk. So I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Like, wait, 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 wait. Where should I wait for him or something? It's super random place. I just said, okay, I will just wait here. I take a picture of where I am. So go here. Walking around. Oh, oh he's, he, he's here somewhere. And then I keep looking. He's wearing like this. Oh, he's wearing like this. Where is he? I actually saw you already from afar. You saw me before I saw you, right? Yeah, I saw, I saw him from afar. Oh my God. I was like, oh my God. That's that's him, that's him. I don't know what to do. So I just waited for him to see me. And then I was like, that's how I feel. When I first saw him from afar, oh my God, that's him. 
uh, like it's it's really him i'm so excited i want to go to him but i'm so shy and nervous i don't know what to do so your your pov comes now because i already saw you yeah yeah for me i knew that you are there already right you're there before me you're waiting there already because that's how we time the flights of course i know the time and the moment i actually landed in qatar i i just said like this thinking in my head like oh my gosh she's like right here in this airport and i'm about to meet her it was kind of mixed feelings really i was so happy and excited to see you i was a bit of i was nervous yeah but it's more of like this exciting nervous right because we work so hard for this and i'm finally meeting you right and one of my concerns was always the height <laughs> i always ask you how tall are you and you always said like i don't really know i don't know my height and so of course i want to be taller than you right <laughs> so i was excited to see you yeah when i got off the plane i was so excited there was a problem i didn't have internet when i actually landed so i'm like oh my gosh what if i cannot connect to the internet you know i, I will not be able to find you right <laughs> and yeah then i was at security i could connect to the internet and then uh, i chatted you i'm here where are you right meet at a certain place uh, it was a challenge to find that place uh, at first uh, but you sent me a picture yeah i look on the i look at the picture and then i'm like where is this place and then when i finally saw like oh my gosh like <laughs> it's matching like you have to be somewhere here i, I my heart started racing like really i think you saw me already and then i i, I saw you over there and like I'm, I'm like what should i do now like i got so nervous what happened next <laughs> so what happened next of course we hug each other yeah we actually not kiss actually yeah we only hug each other and he smells so good <laughs> i think he showered the perfume <laughs> when we first met we are not yet boyfriend and girlfriend because i i always said i don't want to make it official over the phone right yeah. i want to Wait. you know tell you that stuff in person right yeah. <laughs> um, you will find out about it uh, when it happened as well for me like uh, when i then hug you like i'm like oh my gosh like that's you and you also smell so good right uh, it's like i always told you wear this perfume it's so good like it always reminds me of that first meeting i kind of was like so happy and nervous at the same time i'm like what should we do now like <laughs> and then we just walk around together hand in hand uh, we film a bit for our vlog we were both happy and nervous a bit awkward i guess <laughs> yeah. but i think that's normal that's really normal from there we flew together to maldives so we connect our flights so we can be together at the same flights yeah. to go to Maldives because it's also a long way to go to Maldives. So we are already together and we are so shy to each other. I can remember, guys, Pascal cannot look at me. He's so shy. Like, he's super shy to look at me. He's super shy to touch my head. <laughs> you watched our previous podcasts. There I said I'm really, like, uh, introverted. I'm, uh, I have a bit of social anxiety. And then, of course, meeting you, I'm even more nervous. But I was so happy you know I, 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 I was nervous i just hope you were not like oh this guy what, what's 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 with him did you never think like oh, this guy is so shy i'm thinking oh he's so cute <laughs> he cannot look at me in my eyes and he's when every time i'm looking at him he's like <laughs> so we landed to maldives and we had our breakfast or lunch lunch there we are already like uh, we are really comfortable to each other already like there's no wall yeah i can feel like you can really feel this too a person if there's a wall in yeah. between but it's like natural yeah it was really yeah so it's really natural so the, i was nervous you know as you said the next morning then the breakfast it really felt like we know each other already so yeah. long because we just worked so well together yeah, right I, I, I cannot really I cannot really actually explain that feeling yeah. like I know I know you already for the long 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 time yeah. like I know this guy like it's like my childhood friend I cannot explain guys comment down below if you already has also this feeling but it's actually true believe it or not we have this feeling that we are really made for each other okay guys <laughs> I know, guys, you are really curious about this, no? Guys, someone commented to our YouTube channel in our first meeting video, and this comment got my attention. So this comment was, I was like, I don't know what will I will be, uh, how will I react? She, she commented that my, <laughs> please be prepared. He so like, he has the excitement to do this to you. Like, you know what I mean, guys? I don't want to say the word. You know, guys, between the... We all know what but uh, you know already means. when a person when the, the two couple is alone at bed and you know already what will happen 
And he, 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 she commented like that. Oh, be prepared. I'm sure he's so excited to do it because he, it's your first meeting like that. I was like, what? And also, so a bit, a <laughs> bit of uh, background. We had a room together. Yeah, yeah. Like we were in the same room. It was not a different room. It was yeah. like a one bedroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a big, it's a big room. It's a big yeah. room. Yeah. Of course, many people then think, you know, Same, you know, yeah. you know what happens there, right? And <laughs> so, <laughs> and of course, it's our first meeting and everything. Uh, we haven't seen each other for so long, which yeah. is uh, talk yeah, over yeah. the over the phone. And yeah, you might think, um, you know, there is like party going on. <laughs> so yeah, what actually happens? Our first night together was actually yeah. romantic because he asked me to be his girlfriend yeah. in person. That's how my husband is very respectful. As what he said, he don't want to pursue me over the phone. He wants to ask in me in person. He waited for one year for that. And of course, we are sweet. Of course, we kiss, guys. It's normal. But you know, guys, to be honest, honestly, brutally, I will die now if I am lying in front of you, guys. People like him do exist. A guy that have a respect towards a woman even you're alone nobody's watching he respect you know he respect me as a woman and he respect my parents yeah and the uh, culture you have yeah. yeah because you know you know us, us of course you are alone and you're feeling but you know he he respected me as a woman that that night yeah. within that eight days in maldives it never happened guys believe me or not it never happened you know guys it's actually unbelievable i know you are thinking right now <laughs> really oh no you're just saying that because you know that's how he respect me that's why i married him because you know i asked him the moment we arrived at home he, i asked my husband that time i remember why you didn't do that <laughs> yeah i asked him and you know what is his answer his answer was of course i respect you and your parents trusted me and i will not break that yeah. that's why i was so oh I, I was like, when we want to sleep already, I'm actually like talking to God that time. I was like, Lord, thank you for giving me such a wonderful guy. Lord, Lord, is this real? Is this real? Is it, is it, is it really, does this guy exist like that? Yeah. So, yeah, from my POV as well, like, of course, uh, you meet the first time, you're alone. Uh, I'm a guy, of course, I have my natural urge as well, of course. But so, yeah, it's really about uh, trust, like your parents both trust me. Um, to be alone with you, right? Um, I ask them beforehand if it's really fine for the both of them, if we will, you know, meet, we will be alone, we will be in the same <laughs> room. Actually, I told them all of that and they said, yeah, of course, uh, we trust you. <laughs> yeah, you're big enough. They said you're old enough, the both of you, and we trust you, really. And that's really, I want to respect them. You know, they put so much trust in me, in us, and of course, I'm not going to break their trust you know right just because, uh, just because of that and i i'm not i didn't wait and fight one year just for me to and just for this one thing and then you know who knows what's happening right uh, that's not my reason i just really genuinely wanted to get to know you to finally spend time with you in person and not just this one thing right i mean you can't do that once you're married every day i don't know <laughs> yeah right it, it was really not actually like actively in my head of course you think about oh we're alone but I, i'm not really thinking like oh we need to to do that right now or i really want to do that um i'm just respectful towards you right yeah i can i don't want to i don't want you to think like this about me like i'm just doing that like i'm just meeting you for that or something i think nowadays it's not like that anymore like it's there's not so much respect to that anymore and so much value to it anymore yeah it's really purely out of respect to your parents to you to your culture and whatever yeah so nothing happened just kissing yeah. and kissing <laughs> so guys please okay so maybe whoever you commented that i'm sure i i hope that you got enlightened because you know before i flew to maldives of course there are also concerned friends concerned family of course they are just not saying it but they are what they want to ask that after i return from maldives i'm sure they they want to ask but yeah. i'm sure they they don't want because yeah. they don't know how yeah. but you know i already told them no nothing happened yeah. period nothing happened yeah. believe it or not okay it's not yeah, a problem okay. anymore nothing happened god is our wit witness that yeah. time <laughs> i will die now if we, we are lying that's why it made me to the decision that this guy is worth 
worth it. This guy is the man of my dreams. This guy is the man of my prayers. I really waited for this type of person. He is a type of guy that you will really marry. And we got married. That's why that night, that week, the, our first week in Maldives made me realize that I really have the right choice oh good. yeah so so let me ask you this like if if this uh, something happened there what would have changed like uh would you still marry me or would it maybe yes but would it have no. been you would have yeah. more thoughts about it really yeah because you know before i met you i really i had a promise to god that i want to find a guy i want to be in a relationship that is pleasing to the eyes of the lord so that's why i really valued that first week that we had and that That's the very big part of our relationship because it made me to the decision that God, this, this is it. That I will marry this guy. Because if not, I don't know. <laughs> really? Maybe yes, but I will still have this yes or no, yes or no. But that moment, I only have the answer yes. Yeah, it's also for me like the pride when you come back and the boys ask, of course. They just want to hear one thing, but still, it's my decision. It's my life, what, what I will do. And then um, I'm not in this kind of culture, you know, where we are at right now. And I think you guys know what kind of culture this is especially here in the western world <laughs> i still want to have these respectful values like this respectful culture you know <laughs> nothing happened guys <laughs> sorry that's really special so maybe you're wondering what did you do so we just talked together we actually used the time to actually know each other more like i it's super nice to hear his voice in person because you're always talking to a phone yeah so what was your first impression like on my voice when we finally met in Qatar like did you notice something or was it different than on the phone yeah. maybe the people want to know it's really different it's like a bit deep in person and it's a bit it's I, I felt killing when I first hear <laughs> when I first heard your voice in person because it's really actually also weird oh I can really hear you really because we are one year on the phone in whatsapp always calling and video calling and can i really touch you really like that it's it's super weird in when you are in long distance the first meeting is really magical and and it's really like actually the in within your relationship you will always look back to that moment because it's really special like oh it's oh i met you now you will look back oh we made this far yeah for you what is your reaction when you first heard my voice it's different as well than on the phone uh, it's kind of when you first hear it like i was killing as well like really like oh my gosh that's your voice so cute it's like you're used to it on the phone like you talk like for one year every day you're used to that voice and then you finally hear the voice of you not on the phone but in person and i don't know it's just such a weird but good feeling you know to finally hear your voice but you really have like this really cute voice right it's different and it's more cute than on the the phone like it was already cute there but it was still more cute and i got really killing and yes you you smell so good like you with like this uh, leather jacket and the boots and i'm like wow like i really i really was uh, stunned by your looks uh, like I'm, i'm i'm like oh my gosh that's like my girl <laughs> i was super killing that time and as i said nervous and so my question is as well like what's your expectation versus reality like what's what was kind of in your head like how i am how i look maybe how tall i am or so and how was the reality the reality actually i, I didn't expect you know i do I, i'm not the person who's, who will expect expect like too much i just want to see you i didn't also think about your height so guys if you're wondering why why he keeps on saying the height my husband is not that tall five five seven five eight five seven and a half the thing is like here in switzerland yeah, yeah, uh, the yeah. average people are like almost six foot and like i'm five seven five eight i'm i kind of feel small right and i want to be more tall than my partner right <laughs> so i was always concerned and she never said actually her height so i thought maybe what if she <laughs> like uh i don't know a huge tower and then she's small next tower <laughs> i never think about it i accept who you are i love everything about you when we were in maldives back when we are in maldives you know i was so surprised to my husband so he was te technically actually my boyfriend that time so when he asked me to be his girlfriend he he put this box i thought he will propose to me <laughs> because he have a box because he have a box yeah. like a box like swarovski yeah. I, i thought oh my god no I, oh no No, really? It's nothing super expensive. I'm not like a like, sugar daddy or something. No, I'm not thinking it's expensive. Like I was like, oh <laughs> no, it's a box. If, if 
If you're a woman, if you yeah. see a box, you will think, uh, is this a proposal or something? Oh, oh, oh. That's what's in my head before as well. What if I do this and she thinks I'm proposing, but I'm actually not? <laughs> so it's actually, guys, a, a necklace, a heart necklace. He gave it to me when he asked me to be his girlfriend. And then I thought, that's all. Every day, I'm receiving stuff from him. Are you a Santa Claus or something? I'm not expecting anything. I just want you to be there. When I asked him, wait, did you buy them all at once? He told me that he actually collected it until we met oh like i was like really i'm not materialistic he collected all those stuff and waited to give me in person and we even have a dining at the beach oh, and yeah. it's it's beautiful you can see the the picture here this and it's super romantic and i cannot forget because we ordered too much <laughs> Build an entire menu card for us and then at, at half of it we have to say okay we're full give all the stuff to the guests here the big cake like the, the big cake and everything with our names with yeah. our names with a heart shape and everything a big tiramisu we said, just give it to the people there we ordered so much yeah, it did, we didn't expect that it will be yeah, too much yeah. so that that happened on our last night in Maldives we celebrated in Maldives the new year it was not just me I've been given she as well prepared stuff oh, yeah, I yeah. was always looking for and uh, she also gave it to me like on the same days really i did not expect anything as well but like the stuff you gave me like oh so sweet and then uh, as well the bracelet uh, that you Our gave names. me yeah then the letter you bought me a hat because uh, i lost you mine have, uh, <laughs> you always wear hat like, it's just so thoughtful and sweet like even if you didn't give anything to me right fine i did not expect anything yeah me that. too it's just, just so sweet right a very wholesome moment of two lovebirds flying together <laughs> to meet and without doing stuff that you're thinking huh you guys huh okay. you're thinking huh you're so naughty let's go to the last part of our meeting you know i think this is the saddest part the saddest part is actually you know when you're departing yeah. apart from each other and it's like already the day before when you like realize yeah like, this is our last day last together day. Tom tomorrow you will go miles away to your country and back again we to will split up you know that you both will work hard together and you will meet each other again but oh that was so heartbreaking pascal actually will fly in a different lane in a different airlines yeah, but we I, cannot fly together yeah the thing was i booked our flights again together to yeah. qatar but uh, then because of Canceled, the pa pandemic yeah. uh, her flight got cancelled actually so we had to book a different flight for her in order to spend as much time together as we could i cancelled my flight my initial flight and changed it to the new flight that you had so we yeah. can actually fly together still to qatar and then just depart there I find it super sweet of him but also of course I don't want him to do that because of course it's again another patch of money, stress. When we are flying na to go to our planes and we are inside our planes, we are actually crying inside the plane. Yeah, and so we are so emotional that time. We are like <laughs> yeah. clinging. Yeah, and you could really tell the sadness in our eyes. Like yeah. the way we just walk around and look. Oh, it's so heartbreaking. Yeah, it's super. I think that's the most heart breaking part of being in a long distance relationship especially during our time because it's pandemic we don't know when yeah, we can meet yeah, again yeah. when philippines border can open we will be open did not know if it will get worse right because yeah. it was like the main time there yeah. it could have get, uh, gotten worse it could yeah. have got less worse you know the most saddest part of my life it's also the moment when we you know our hands is like yeah, this when he moment, sends like, me oh. to the gate i just keep on hugging him and mm -hmm. holding his hand as long as i can and then the moment when I had to let you go to the gate and that she saw you looking back and I'm yeah. like, oh, I have to turn around now and go like, oh. It's so painful. Like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an emotional guy, right? But I don't really cry a lot. It's like quite rare for me. I'm like quite strong on the outside, right? But that moment when we had to go apart, like, oh my gosh, my heart just fell apart. Like, yeah. I, I went to on, on a toilet, I'm going to be honest, Aww. and I really cried my heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why are you crying? <laughs> That. He's no, crying. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm your wife already. We will not. Yeah, I know. It's just looking back like oh. I was. Oh. Wait, you cut that. Oh, yeah. I'm getting emotional now. Even like it was really one of my saddest moments as well. Yeah. We will not be separated. I I know that. I'm just looking back. I don't oh, know. come here. Uh -uh. Oh. No. So guys, no, it's, yeah, yeah. I'm actually never. I was never really emotional until really this part. And I don't know, this is just stuck with me. 
Yeah, it's super painful. That's the most painful part or time of our life, actually. Bad thing was like, I, because I changed my flight, I had a really bad connection flight. So I had to wait like eight hours at the airport for my next flight. And I was just sitting there at the airport, like listening to sad music being sad. But the moment we actually landed at home, we both started working again on, uh, on the visa, visa like yeah. instantly. So I actually as well cried when I was inside my gate already while waiting to for the gate gates to open and I'm also crying that and the worst is I'm crying inside the plane and there is like two guys mm -hmm. like a Filipino as well I, I can tell but only few people because it's pandemic good thing it's only few people yeah. because I'm also crying <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really crying like the guy was like <laughs> what's wrong with yeah you? <laughs> I'm, I'm really crying inside the plane because <laughs> I, I really don't know because I don't know when I will meet you again and super yeah. sad. So for all the LDR couples that will meet, prepare for this moment. It's yeah, really, super hard. really hard. Yeah. Super hard because it's not like you can just travel with bus to meet again. Yeah. It's a plane tickets and a lot of papers and stuff. It's really hard. That's the most painful part. So yeah, that's the story behind our first meeting. And that's all. I think everyone got enlightened with that, you know. That's the truth behind our first meeting, guys. It's really special. It's really wholesome. It's really genuine. Super and behave. Yeah, and it, we will never forget that for the rest of our life. So Maldives is one of the most important country for us and also the Qatar airport. Yeah. We will not forget. We will come back to the those places one day we will, we will yeah we are soon one year married in october 3 our journey was super long and tough but also beautiful mm. Oh, so guys that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoy and we are hoping to see you in our next pantal pod yeah over and out cheers guys thank cheers. you guys